Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss the next example to implement assignment problem using branch and bound technique. Solve the following job assignment problem using branch and bound technique. What is job assignment problem? The job and person will be given in a matrix form. So here, each job we have assigned to one person such that the constraint here is the total cost of completing the job should be minimum. That is job assignment problem and this job assignment problem we are going to implement using branch and bound technique by constructing the state space tree already we have discussed two examples i will provide the link in the description for your reference so now here the job is given and person is given so the first step is we need to compute the initial lower bound value so how we will calculate the initial lower bound value take the minimum value in each row and we have to add it so the minimum value here if you are considering in the sense in this first row minimum value was 4 second row if you are considering in the sense minimum value was 2 third row minimum value was if you are adding all these values, we will get the initial lower bound value and the initial lower bound value here is 10. So, this is the 0th level of state space tree. Okay. So, the state space tree will look like, so this is start. Okay. And the initial lower bound value is 10 here. And this level we will consider it as 0. Okay. With this initial stage. We will construct the next level component by considering person A. Okay. By considering person A, assign the first job to person A and compute the lower bound value. Then assign the second job to person A and compute the lower bound value. Then assign the third job to person A and compute the lower bound value. Among these three lower bound values, which one is minimum? that we will consider and that particular job we will assign to person A. Okay. Next, continue to person B in the next level. Okay. So, likewise, the procedure continues. So, this is the initial stage. Okay. Next step, consider person A. Assign various jobs to person A and compute the lower bound value. So, here they have given three jobs. So, for person A, we will assign the first job and compute the lower bound value. We will assign the second job and compute the lower bound value. We will assign the third job and compute the lower bound value. Okay. So, here for person A, we will assign job number 1 and its cost is 5. So, here the same row, same column, you should not assign to any other person. Next step. For person B in the second row, which cost is minimum? 2 is minimum. And for person C in the third row with the remaining jobs, which cost is minimum? 5 is minimum. So, here the lower bound value we will get it as 12. Okay. Next step. If you are assigning second job to person A in the sense, its cost is 8. So, here the same row, same column, you should not assign to any other person. So, among the remaining jobs for B, which one is least? 2 is least. And for C, 4 is least. And here, the lower bound is 14. Okay. Next, assign third job to person A. And here, the cost is 4. So, here, the same row, same column, you should not assign to any other person. Okay. And among the remaining jobs for B, 3 is least, for C, third row, 4 is least. So, here the lower bound is 11. Okay. So, among these three lower bound values, which is minimum, this lower bound is minimum. That is, assigning third job to person A, we will get the least lower bound value. So, we will assign third job to person A. We will fix it. Okay. So, next step. Construct the next level state space tree. So, previous step we have constructed the initial state space tree. Now, we will construct level 1 state space tree by considering person A by assigning various jobs. So, this is the initial state space tree. So, with this initial state space tree, we need to construct the next level components by assigning various jobs to person A and we will find out the least lower bound value and that particular job we will assign to person A. Okay. 
so here for person a we will assign job number 1 and for person a we will assign job number 2 we will assign job number 3 so if you are assigning job number 1 to person a what is the lower bound value it is 12 if you are assigning second job to person a what is the lower bound value it is 14 if you are assigning third job to person a what is the lower bound value it is 11 so we will proceed with this node which finds the least lower bound value and this level we will consider it as level 1 so next level if you are considering in the sense third job we have assigned to person a remaining jobs are job number 1 and job number 2 okay next step consider person b assign job number 1 and compute the lower bound value assign job number 2 and compute the lower bound value which is least that job we will assign it for person b okay so next step consider person b assign various job to person b by leaving job number 3 because job number 3 we have assigned to person a and compute the lower bound values so here for person a third job is assigned and its cost is 4 this is fixed okay so for person b remaining availability is job number 1 and job number 2 if you are assigning job number 1 in the sense its cost is 3 and this row this column we will leave it and and the remaining only one job is available to c so that cost is 10 okay and its lower bound value is 17 next assign the second job to person b and its cost is 7 and the same row same column we should not assign to any other person next job number 1 is the only job left for c so assign that job to person c and its cost is 4 and here we will get the lower bound value 15 so if you are assigning job number 1 to person b lower bound value is 17 if you are assigning job number 2 to person b in the sense lower bound value is 15 so which one is minimum 15 is minimum so we will assign job number 2 to person b and job number 1 to person c okay so with this we got the solution okay so we will construct the next level state space tree with this so here in this level 1 the most promising node with least lower bound value here is assigning third job to person a and its lower bound value was 11 okay so with this we will proceed to construct the next level component by considering person b and assigning the remaining jobs and we have checked the lower bound value so for person b if you are assigning the first job in the sense for c only one job is remaining that is 2 okay so the lower bound value here is 17 okay for person b if you are assigning job number 2 in the sense for person c only one job is remaining that is job number 1 okay and so its lower bound value here is 15 okay so this will be considered as the most promising node with the least lower bound value okay so this will be considered as the solution node in this state space tree okay and this is considered as level 2 see here we have combined two levels here because if you are assigning first job to b there is only one job left out okay so that will be constructed as a next level state space tree actually but here we have combined it level 2 and level 3 okay so here the solution is for person a assign job number 3 for person b assign job number 2 for person c assign job number 1 and the lower bound here we will get it as 15 the total cost for completing all the jobs is 15 so this is the solution for this given assignment problem using branch and bound technique with the help of the state space tree almost four examples we have discussed under assignment problem using branch and bound technique i think you will understand better with these examples and we will wind up this assignment problem in the next session we will move on to knapsack problem using branch and bound technique thank you for watching this video